Hey, hey, everybody, Mount Dumania here. Welcome back to Nancy Drew, Midnight Salem. I know it's been a little bit. Um, last time, we had to figure out uh, the sequence of camera events to try to figure out who... Hello? Uh, who stole or who broke into... Deidre? Dang it. Who broke into the evidence room. It kind of looks like the mayor's son to me. And if I'm not mistaken, is that not the car that we saw pull away right there? Uh, or am I blind? Okay, let's go out and check the car out. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, there he is, Mr. Stud himself. Looks like the car to me. What do you know, young man? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Bye, bye, bye. So, what's up? You guys looking for directions, or...? Mm -hmm. You weren't working for Alicia on the day the evidence was stolen. Oh, come on. Yes, I was. You're lying. Jason, we confirmed with Alicia that she was running errands. But she was alone. What? But she... Jason, Cupcake, just tell us what you were doing. Jason, serious crimes have been committed. If you have anything to do with them or know anything about them, now is the time to tell us. Get yourself out from underneath this, because I assure you, you will be the one to take the fall. Yeah, you really think so? Hey, buddy. She's done this many times already. She knows a thing or two about catching perps. Still not working. Let me do it. It's my thing. Jason? I must have just been doing errands by myself. Oh, Jason. Uh. See you later. You, sir, are an idiot. Why is it... Why does Deidre always look so bad? Um... I'm not. I don't know if I'm buying it, to be honest with you. Okay, let's see. Interview ghost witnesses. What are you talking about? The shops aren't making a lot of business right now. Yeah, we know. The only thing I hate about this is you have to do all this roundabout stuff to get in the shops. That's kind of irritating. How's business? Slow, thankfully. Ugh, I feel awful. Just a couple of questions, Warren, and we'll get out of here. Okay. We know what you're doing. We do. I'm sorry? You're not fooling us. This whole New Age act. Modern apothecary and tea house? Please. I spent an entire day in the town archives, okay? I know everything about this town and the people that live here. Oh, Lord. Inside and out. Deirdre, this isn't the best way. Your family has been here a long time, haven't they? Yes. You're related to Tichiba, correct? Yes. Aha! I knew it! Tichiba is kind of famous around here. She was the first accused witch, a slave from the Caribbean owned by Samuel Paris, Elizabeth Paris's father. Who else knows this, Lauren? I don't know, but it's not like it comes up in normal everyday conversation, so I've never brought it up. I'm not part of that accused witches organization, if that's what you're angling at. So, you don't get along with Tegan? We used to be friends, okay? And I don't know why you think this is some sort of amazing revelation. Tegan works at the museum. She knows that my great, 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 great grandmother was Tichuba. And she knows that Tichuba was owned by her great, 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 great grandfather. What happened in our ancestors' lives mattered then, and it still matters now. But the fact that Tegan and I aren't friends has nothing to do with the past. It gives you motive. 
Are you seriously accusing me of setting my own house on fire? Oh. Because you don't want Tegan God, and her AW have. people to get your place. I don't care at all about Tegan or her organization. You think that's the reason I don't like her? Because her people did something bad to my people 300 years ago? She's trying to kick me out of my home. This shop is how I remember my ancestors. Ask your little questions so I can answer them, and then I'd like you to leave. Okay. We need to talk about the ghosts you've seen. What do you want to know? We want... I'm talking to her. So you've seen them. Abigail Hathorne Woodley. Yep. John Hathorne? Yes. And Tichaba? And Francis Tuttle? And Judge Sewell? And everyone else who's ever lived in this town? Why didn't you say this before? Because it sounds crazy. How long have you been seeing them? Ever since Francis died. Hmm. Do you mind if I ask what you ate yesterday? I do mind. That's kind of personal. Give me a break. It's okay. Just tell us. Did you eat any cereal type stuff? Like rye bread? I'm gluten free. Oh, good. So no grains? Not to my knowledge. Anything to drink? Salem's finest. Tap water. Just like everyone else in town. Hmm. What do you know about Ergot? Why do you ask? Why are you being so suspicious? Why are you being such a... Enough. Please. <laughs> We're asking because we believe the ghost sightings might be related to ergot poisoning. Claviceps purpurea. What? I had a break-in a few weeks ago. They took all my money, which wasn't much. But the funny thing is, they also took my ergot. You have it here? Of course. It treats migraines and cluster headaches. It's part of any good herbalist repertoire. You can also maim people with it. Every medicine is toxic in high enough dosage. Why do you ask? We think that the ghost sightings are related to ergot poisoning. Hmm. I don't know. They seem so real. Talk to you later. Is that all? I have a couple more. Yes. Thank you, Lauren. Have a good day. <laughs> okay. Is I don't like her. Oh. Yeah, you made that clear. Okay. She knows the Paris family history. She's motivated to stop Tegan from achieving her goals with the AW organization. And there's a way to go about doing things, Deirdre. What you did in there isn't it. You're welcome. God, Deirdre, shut up. You. Oh my lord. Did this, this, didn't they see the ghost? She saw the ghost, did she? How are you feeling, Olivia? Uh, I didn't sleep at all last night. I still have that ghost in my head and my hands burn, right? Like pins and needles. Yeah, how'd you know? We think we were poisoned by ergot. Ergot? Really? What's that? It's a fungus. A fungus? What? But how? What did you eat yesterday? Eat? Why? Just humor us. Well, I had a breakfast cantaloupe, and then I had lunch at Kale Me Crazy. It's this vegan place. Uh-huh. What did you have? Kale salad, chickpeas, raisins, with thousand witches dressing not very fungal no <laughs> anything to drink yesterday coffee at breakfast fair trade obviously smoothie at kale me crazy and tea what kind of tea it was a matcha gross well i like it where's the water from excuse me the water that you made your tea with it was just normal faucet water. 
Some people filter, I don't have the time. Besides, Lauren has the best matcha. You can't tell it's unfiltered. Whose faucet? Lauren's? I went to try to talk to her about the ghosts. She made me tea, it was better than the conversation. I took my tea to go and then ended up sharing it with the Hardy brothers. I ran into them. Boys. Yeah, them, in the cemetery. Joe wanted to try my tea. So you all drank the tea? Yep. Hmm. Talk to you later. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so does that mean that it's the water supply? So, is that have something to do with this? The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. Hmm. It could. Okay, so next time I guess we'll go into the graveyard and uh, talk to the Hardy Boys. And I'm probably going to try and call some more people see if I can talk to anybody but anyway I hope you guys are you um, hope you guys are enjoying sorry I've been away from this for a while work has been absolutely crazy but uh, I had to come back and I will continue to come back uh, I love a good mystery I love Nancy Drew uh, and I probably will maybe when we finish this one I might delve in and like go back and play an old one or something uh, kind of drag them out of the closet I've got just about every one so, uh, yeah. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. And as always, a huge shout out to Tronus for sponsoring this series. Uh, thank you, Tronus. His links will be in the description. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. This is Mountain Dew Mania. This is Nancy Drew. Uh, Midnight in Salem. I'm so out of here. Bye, guys.